Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? I think it's the haters calling. Ah. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another motherfucking video. Hope you guys are having a good one. Feeling good, feeling great. You already know the vibes. Today, you already know we finished up the wheels. Kinda. We still need to get them sealed, but as you can see, this is what we went with. We went with a frost white kind of style. We still have to do the ceiling here, but as of right now, we are going to test fit just for the beginning of the video. This is one thing I hate about taking off these wheels with this much camber, is you can't take them off. You literally can't take them off without hitting anything. Bruh, bruh. Bruh, it's stuck. Ah, ah. <sighs> Maybe we need to lower this bitch. We're gonna have to raise it, cause I don't think these wheels fit at all. But once we raise it, we can adjust from there. Come on, please fit. Shit. Dude, that is fucking crazy. Okay, um, these aren't going on the rears. However, dude, I'm so fucking stoked right now, dude. This deserves its own B-roll shot, so cue the B-roll. Three, two. Shout out the homie. This shit clean, bro. All right, guys, I ain't gonna lie. That is how you execute an OEM Plus GTI Mark VI if you do have one. Just, just letting y'all know, all right? We fixed the ride height a little bit, adjusted it to where we can fit the 13s, the 19 by 13s. And as you can see, I don't know about y'all. That, that looks like perfect fitment to me. I mean, look at that, look at that. Jeez. Man, that looks so good. Ah, caster is so off, but oh my God, dude, that looks insane. Look at that, dude. It's literally like fender to lip. See, if I was bagged, that would be absolutely phenomenal for me. But although I'm not bagged, we are gonna have to do some changes, but it's cool to see while it's in the air. You know what I'm saying? Like. Dude, out of all the odds, it's perfect. Man, it's crazy. All right, guys, I adjusted it a tad bit, and let me just say this thing looks freaking insane, dude. Jesus, insane. It's fender to lip still. I adjusted the toe just a little bit. 2,000 years later. Yeah, man, I've been I've been cooking up. I've been in the lab, dude. I don't know. I just haven't been recording, which is, that's my fault personally. I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys been missing the content, but I just been, I just been grinding on this thing. Like, I want to get this thing done ASAP, but give you a little sneak peek. Woo! All right, all right. That's it for now. That's it for now. Today, we're going to do the front. As you can see, I have already done one of the fronts. And that is looking icy as always. You already know. So we're gonna do the other side. I kept that one open because I was gonna show you guys what I did. And look at the rears, dude. Looking minty. Mm -mm -mm. It's just about perfect. Look at that, dude. Matching too, come on. I'm so excited. But yeah, let's get this thing on. So as you can see, we already did half of the work. So first thing I did was remove the brake caliper as well as the rotor. And then I went ahead and took off the tie rod, which is right here. And then now what we have to do, since we have access to this now, we can go ahead and remove it from the ball joint that's connected to the upper control arm. And the last step after that is to remove the nut on the lower control arm. 
and this thing should slide right out so let's go ahead and do it Right, now that we got it out, we're gonna have to switch over the hub from this spindle. Move it to this spindle. As you can see, I'll show you guys the difference. It is a little shorter as well as it's like a little tilted. So it's gonna be actually sitting like that, which gives it a little more camber. And yeah. Got it. Bango. So the upper control arms are pretty straightforward. All you're gonna have to do is take off these 14 millimeter bolts here and it should slide right out. So, so if you see, it's pushed in a lot more than the OEM. So I believe that gives us about like negative three, negative four.